Hey, and welcome back to Chuck's Tuesday Tips. We took last week off for the history lesson. Uh, first of all, I want to give a say happy graduation to Sean McCool, who was too school for school, and they let him graduate. So happy graduation, Sean. Now we're going to come back and finish our squirrel. Where we last left off, we were sewing it up. So as you can see, I've finished sewing it up. Now we're going to set everything. We clipped off the styrofoam foot, so we're going to uh, put a little pin here just to set this while it dries. We're going to tamp it into the styrofoam. That way it'll help us with our posing in a minute. The front feet, we won't need anything. We're going to have to find a nut or something. Oh, this one went right in. Perfect. To put in our hand, in its hands. Now that we've done that, we can come over, find our eyes. Can you see that, Jay? Yeah. And get them kind of temporarily set. before we tuck our lip. And again, I like to, uh, just like in doing a deer or anything that I do, I like to get certain things set in place, roughly at least, so that when we go to tucking and pulling, um, we don't push it out of alignment and have to try to tug it all back. I'll take a couple quick little bird pins here and set one in each corner to hold that in place. Come over here. Do the same to this one. Remember not to make your eye too round. They're all basically the same shape. Upper and lower lid. Got a little separation between it. Okay, that's fine. Now, somehow we'll have to Assume this position for getting this tucked. If you'll recall, we decided to make a clay nose so that we can kind of mold it in instead of trying to uh, tuck these teeny little nostrils into a little foam hole. See, there's not very much to it. Now we're going to come around. Now normally, we could put the teeth in here. And that's what would fill in this void. We're going to make fake teeth later on. And then JJ and I were just discussing that. We have to do a little weasel for the visitor center. And I think I'm going to have him clean the skull instead of using a carved head and mount it over the foundation of the the skull and then that'll have the teeth in it like I said nowadays we don't really like to leave skulls in them things like that but back in the day they did that all the time if you clean everything right you're still not going to have a bug problem I guess unless you put it in a tub of bugs or something, I guess anything's possible, huh? Because you can see this line here is where the teeth are going to go. Oops, sorry. Now we'll pull up our lower lip. Get this tuck. Sorry, as my head's in the way. Big old head. Size 8 head. 
extra large. Guess I did let my skill go to my head, huh, JJ? <laughs> so funny. All right, there we go. That's tough. It's starting to look like a squirrel. Now we're going to come up, deal with our little ears here. Again, we'll put a little pin in here to index them. Or in this case, a big pin. I need to go backwards for a minute and discuss the tail. Uh, we were having that controversy on the tail that the bone had snapped off. What I went ahead and did is I went and skinned it out and then crazy glued it together. It's not the ultimate but I didn't want to leave that bone in there. It's around here somewhere. Now that we've got our ears kind of set, we'll make little cards for them. To hold them up. Always remember to use Coca Cola only because they're waxed. I kind of cut them to shape, whatever the shape is. Sometimes it's different on both sides. I mean from ear to ear they're not always identical side to side I guess is what I'm trying to say I'll take one staple and this probably is all it'll need card it up repeat as necessary on the other side, or if you have a three ear squirrel, you gotta do it three times. However many ears you have. Most of mine usually have the two, but you never know. You go through a lot of Coke cups here. Again, to repeat, we use Coke because they're waxed. And the wax doesn't stick if you get glue or anything. See, because your dominant ear is bigger than your non dominant side ear. There we go. Now we're starting to get somewhere. I'll come back over, readjust a little nose. You always want to check allegedly your reference, which we don't have any, but we know what it looks like. Now we're going to pin it on this block of foam right now. I don't know what we're going to put this one on yet. But that way we can at least have weight on the feet really important to have weight on the feet. I hate going to the shows and seeing a sheep that's a quarter inch off the rock. No weight on the hoofs. Alright JJ, what do we got? Stealing nuts from other squirrels? Stealing nuts, man. Well, this guy's bigger so he can whoop that one down. like a smaller pin I think. Anyway. Ah. Uh, we apologize for uh, 
the intrusion on the filming. It's just Gary. He's come for his vest. He's going to wait for me to say, oh, it's not here, but guess what? It's here. Okay, now we've got it basically set up. Now we just need to uh, go ahead and start grooming them. Which, uh, take the blower, blow it out. See how it's starting to fluff up? It's important to blow it out before the hair sets. So we have to blow this completely out, including the tail, get it fluffed up real good. And then after it's blown out, we go ahead and, and groom the hair back. And remember that the hair always flows, it always flows so that the water is going to run off it. And you want to get your skin alignment. Everything going back where it goes. This little chin came up a little bit. Because they have little cheeks. So tuck that back down. Get this guy back here. He's renegading on me. Someone shoot him quick. There we go. Put another pin. Anyway, when we start next week's tip, we'll show this guy finished out. Probably put him on a, on a little panel or something. Not really sure what the guy wants. Have to check my notes. Or if we're going to build a little habitat. Just fighting me, Judy. It's all Gary's fault. There it goes. Oh, that's why this came out here. Close up this tail a little bit. Kind of bend it to your taste. Get a little bend. Maybe put it straight up at the tip. Whatever you like. And this is again where you could spend hours of time. You know. Adjusting and grooming. So. Put another one right here. There we go. Anyhow it's starting to look pretty good. We'll go back here in a little bit and adjust the eyes, give it a little brow, things like that. Clean the eyes off before the clay dries, regroom them. Anyway, that's it. It's pretty simple. All it takes is a little practice, a little patience, or a lot of patience, and a bunch of busted squirrels. So thanks for tuning in to Chuck's Tuesday Tips. Oh, and don't forget to check out my new rap song. It's available on Amazon.com. It's called um, something. Nope, Chuck Testa with Sabotage. And uh, check that out. Let me know what you think. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next Tuesday.